At the headquarters of the Special Forces Command in Entebbe is where the change of command ceremony took place Saturday morning. The ceremony saw the Senior Presidential Advisor on Special Operations and Commander Land Forces Lieutenant Jeno Kanyarugawa Muhozi handing over command of Special Forces Command to the incoming Acting Commander in absentia, Brigadier Jeno Peter Chandia. The incoming Deputy Commander SFC Brigadier Felix Busizori received the instruments of authority on behalf of the Commander. The function was presided over by the Chief of Defense Forces, General Wilson Imbasumbadi, who congratulated the commanders upon the elevation, which he said meant added responsibility. These appointments are an additional responsibility, but which, like the commanding chief saw in you, I have no doubt that you will uh, execute to the best of our expectations. So we, we will endeavor to continue supporting you in these areas so that you have a force that is professional, it is effective, it is efficient and accountable. He noted that Special Forces Command started as a small force, however, the rigorousness of its leaders so it grew into a formidable and unmatched force in terms of professionalism, training capabilities, discipline, and commitment to deliver on its tasks. It, I think it started as a section in the bush when they say, uh, just around uh, uh, our president. Eventually it grew into a PPU. And eventually it grew into a group. PGB, yes, PGB, and now it is a command. This growth um, has come because of, uh, of uh, the leadership, the focus. with a clear purpose. Geno Mbadi, Adjutant Geno Mhozi, as the new commander land forces replicate the same professionalism in the land force, he also called upon officers and men of Special Forces Command to accord their new commanders all the necessary support to further improve the force. The outgoing commander, Lieutenant Geno Mhozi, held the Special Forces Command leadership and Uganda People's Defense Forces for supporting him in his tour of duty, especially in securing the President of the Republic of Uganda and related activities to ensure the stability of the country. I welcome Brigadier Chandia to this new office, knowing full well he has been understudying it for a long time as Deputy Commander SFC. I am confident that you shall do a good job, Peter. He informed the incoming commander of the impending tasks according to priority, which include building of an oxygen producing plant, adding to the existing infrastructure development requirements, restoring the catch of saving as one of the tools to further build SFC. But here I must say that when I came in seven months ago, I realized that our old saving culture had deteriorated to some degree. In fact, in the first few weeks, we do not have sufficient funds to run activities. I was fortunate enough to get some support from His Excellency, and this greatly helped us carry out our work. Our saving culture has been a hallmark of SFC. It's what distinguishes us from other services. It is what has helped us achieve all the things we have achieved in infrastructure development. The incoming leadership held Lieutenant Genom Hose Kainerugaba for his strategic leadership of the SFC and promised to begin from where he stopped.
So you have taught us many things. You have inculcated into us the culture of saving and proper utilization of resources. You have done a lot for this army, both visible and invisible achievements. So on the visible achievements, these include, but not limited to human resource development, infrastructure development, and building different cap capabilities. We shall begin from where you stopped and keep the, the candle burning in order to keep the mighty name of Special Forces Command. The function was attended by, among others, the Joint Chief of Staff, Major General Port Chanda, the Chief of Staff, Air Force Major General Charles Okidi, the UPDF Chief Political Commissioner Major General Masko, the UPDF Spokesperson Brigadier General Flavia Bekwaso, General Officers, Commanders, Commandants, Senior and Junior Officers, and Militants, among others, Bernard Higa, UBC News, and TV.